and we've returned. All right, so yeah, we're outside the castle or palace or something. I'm not quite sure what we're doing, but we're gonna, you know, try to figure it out today. All right, so let's continue. Oh my goodness. I hope we're not like this the entire time. That's all we have. No shik. No shik. No. No. Nooks, nooks. Okay, I, I do like the, uh... Nooks, nooks! I could get used to that language, but... Oh. He's out cold. Ah, sword in the stone. Oh, that thing over there in the right near my camera. What is he doing? What are you doing, little man? I'm not turning away until you do something. You do it. Come on. I'm going to turn now. There we go. Oh. I've got my eye on you. Uh, uh. Zing. All right. Zing, zing. He's not the one true king. <laughs> I saw you that time, bucko. All right. What are you? All gone. Left alone. Alone. I will say this this little purple guy oh, is funny. It's mine. And it's caused enough damage already. Choco. Oh. You can look bigger. Take the thing under the cloth. Nope. Boy, I really want to take that thing with the cloth, don't I? La puka. Urukun. La puka. I, 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 okay. Like, like, I'm kind of bummed that I can't understand a word he's saying, but I just love every word that's coming out of his mouth. I love Urukun. monkey. I didn't know you were a monkey though up until just a second ago. So, you know. God, he moves extremely fast though. I do like that. Moves? Fights? Apparently in any language, peanuts make you fat. Yeah. Oh, 
Chica Mojito. You know, I haven't been able to say that in forever. I love that word, mojito. Mojito. Gluck Chiquito. I might like that better than mojito. Chiquito. One more time, just one more time. Chiquito. Ah, uh, oh boy. Okay, so there's a a burning Mary. Mary. I like that one even better. Burns a lot, Mary. Oh goodness gracious. Rest in peace, the hangover healer. Recipe out of the book. Oh, rip! Look, look, X. <laughs> look, look, X. <gasps> look, look, X. That hangover cure uh, looks deadly. Like, apparently, it'll kill a monkey, that's for sure. Hi, monkey, you want to die? <laughs> I think he does. Oh, I can take more peanuts, because, you know, that's what I need. Okay. Oh, he can understand him. So the Glug Glug X is what uh, we need, but... Yeah, he understands him, wow. Okay, that's also cool that the monkey can move around like that. Are you a Terminator <laughs> monkey? Hasta la vista, kneecaps. First thing that comes to my mind. Can I drink the mojito? I can. So, am I getting wasted now? Oh, oh. Okay. Weird. Okay, so the look runes a la Mary. That monkey is amazing at his job, though. <laughs> I love that monkey. Okay, I want to drink the Burning Mary. I already said I couldn't take the hat. And I'm wasted, probably. All right.
And no, I haven't figured out anything. Oh, you'll save. Yeah, you, you can't. So the monkey can understand him, but nobody else can. A bark his worst nightmare destroys hours of good work in seconds. Good idea. No problem. Good shot. I will say, I might not be able to understand it, but I just absolutely love the language and his mannerisms. It's, it's nice. You know, is it just my imagination, or does it look like he's storing all the inventory inside himself, or at least in his mouth, because if you pay attention, I, I swear he's, uh, uh, uh. I could be wrong on this, but I think he's eating the inventory. Don't look at me like that, critter. I'm sorry, you're eating it. No, no, please, look somewhere else. Thank you. See? How are you keeping the water in the pan? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah, he is eating the inventory. The golden hooks. Nice. Ah, I sees. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Okay, cool. I can't get up. I can't get up! See, I see. Use the burning mirror with bird. The padlock open. Probably should. But barbecue some bird. Oh! No! Don't barbecue a bird. Not yet, at least. Oh. 
I probably could fry some barbecue bird. I hope I don't have to, but it seems awfully weird that I can barbecue the bird. <laughs> You're silly. I forgot to grab the cup. Oops. Yeah, I know. I'll be back. I can't believe I forgot to grab the cup. I'm usually so good at making sure I grabbed it. I need to stop grabbing peanuts. I know, I'm gonna make you fat. Okay, what have we... Let's do the bottom. Bottom! Mostly because I need the glass. Yes, drink the baboon's bottom. Oof. Oh, he must have taken it before I could. <sighs> Let's do the glug mod. Gahito! There we go. God, I failed at that a few times, didn't I? Okay. So you took it out of your mouth just to... Glass with peppermint and coconut milk in it. Interesting. Shake the hangover healer. Okay, so I have to barbecue a bird. Look some. Look some, Luca. All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Right. 
I think I got this figured out. This is not weird. Why would you ever dribble? Yeah. All right, I must have got it right. Must have gotten it right then. Why you'd have to be that specific, I'll never know. Pour the hangover healer down Nate's throat. Okay. What? No. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. What the? It tastes like. Ah. Not a baboon's Yay. bottom. I tasted that. And it's also that lovely drunkenness. All right, achievement unlocked. You've sobered up, Nate. Fifteen G. Good. Trying to get the lump now. Oh. Can we switch between the two characters then? Is that what's about to happen? Okay. There's something shady going on. Can't you see it? The lamp isn't worth it. A lamp with a gin in it that grants you three wishes. That's worth pretty much everything. And why the genie needed to get help this me? Island. Why? The red pirate chained up the Mary with a magic padlock. Only he can open it, or a powerful spell. And I take it you don't want to leave the Mary behind. I'll think of something. Yeah. Huh. One wish for you, one for me, and we'll sell the third to the highest bidder. That's what we agreed. If we use one wish to free the Mary... Then, there's still one wish for me, and one to sell. Where's the problem? But I don't, I get don't a... care what you do with your wish. Release the Mary, or leave her here. Charming. Cool suit. Make it yourself? You don't know anything about engineering. I don't know anything about small talk. Let's leave it at that. Wow. We need to get out of this cemetery. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to find fame and fortune out there. We're here Says because you. of the magic lamp, and we're only going to leave this island with it. Says who? This Says me. All oh. right, then. What was the plan again? You were gonna put the red pirate in the palace guard out of Shoot me then! Check. Well, apart from. Actually, don't shoot me. Well, as soon as it's out of the way, I come in and get the lamp. And you're really going to come in through the crystal dome without red noticing? Swift and silent. No problem. Yeah, yeah except for really those mechanical switchings. If he catches us. You just take care of the monkey, I'll take care of the rest. Stop keeping me from my work, you little chatterbox. <sighs> All right. We, the Pirates of Pirates Illand, demand that his head disappear from our Illand immediately. Signature. They don't know how to. X X X X X X X X X. Pirates that don't know how to how to. So on. Right, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Creepy. 
They look so real. Uh, I bet you they are real. At first, I thought they might be new pieces for the Red Pirates collection. But then he I bet you got a Medusa. Not out here. Yeah, see? the red pirate about the statues he avoided the question and ordered the next round because they're alive boy the life of a pirate isn't what it used to be you have to look for alternative sources of income now ringtones promotional events merchandising that kind of thing oh Hey, that's one way to do it, huh? I actually like coconut milk, but after that drink Critter gave me, I wouldn't even drink it from the belly button of... I, I don't want any coconut milk. Yeah, just... you. I don't even know what that gnome's called. I met him in a tavern in Bonzing and told him about the lamp. Has some good tricks up his sleeves. If he says he can open a crystal dome in a flash without making a sound, then I believe him. Uh, why? Because of the other guy? All right. My Mary. The Red Pirate himself chained her up when we arrived. I wasn't expecting that. Granted, it did used to be his ship, and he's attached to her. But a huge magic padlock? It's a bit over the top, if you ask me. Uh, if it was originally his, no, I don't blame him for that. Like, I think that's completely fair. What are you doing? The lens was mostly used to dramatically shorten the getaway of airships whose occupants had incurred the wrath of the Red Pirate. The padlock really does look magical. I wonder whether... I am going to have to fry the bird, aren't Look, I? Don't touch. I get it. Sadness. So yeah, LTRT. We got multiple people now. That's kind of cool. Maybe I won't have to burn the parrot. Good. Make a friend. Aww. Neat. What a cutie. What are you doing? Oh. Okay, now if I can just work my way down. I mean.
Am I gonna trap the parrot in there? That looks promising. Yep. And once it's landed, it won't have enough time to try to fly again. Good night, Gracie. Hey, it's better than barbecuing it. So, you know what? I'm happy about that. Fezzes are cool. Actually, no, no complaint here. Put it on. Oh. The fez is probably a delivery for the clothes shop. Stylish headgear is very popular among pirates. Aww. I really wanted to. <sighs> probably has something to do with switching the fez on the monkey, probably. <sighs> Yeah, you better move out of my way. Recognize, punk. Okay. As long as somebody can Google of Mary. Drop the fez, fezes, fez. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's gotta be. Nice. Now all we have to do is get you out of there. That's my job. Right. How long will it take? In the meantime, I could. Apparently, uh. And that that's why long. you should always have a reliable partner. It was nothing, really. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Nice. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> get ready for the big show, Critter. Oh, hello. Um, you're a, a new one. Ta-da! What? Wait. Aren't you supposed to put on a big show? <laughs> it's talking Good about grief. Aladdin. Oh, so this is the beginning of the game. I uh, always thought jinns were godlike super magicians with healthy egos. Okay. Oh, See, yeah. I thought him That's falling great. was because of the yeah, end of the last game, and too? they like left it at a oh, well, uh, yes. That's true. cliffhanger. Literally. I mean, not that you aren't great. I, I just thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> My brothers are all bigger. 
They serve the most powerful rulers in the universe. Me? Ow. You know, they sent me here to practice. They said no one in this strange old world would really notice if I screwed things up. I'm pretty sure you will. Nate's the name, but you can call me Master Nate. What's yours? I'll call you Ben. Yeah, I'll call you Benny. Close enough. As you're a djinn, you have to grant me three wishes, right? Um, of course. Yes, sure. But? But? It would be nice if... Well, can we agree on three small wishes? You mean if I want my own kingdom with immeasurable riches, then it's only allowed to be a small kingdom? <laughs> no. Yes, well, I could perhaps with a coin. A coin? Wow. I'm trying to impress an elf princess. Do you really think a coin is going to blow her away? I'm just not that good if at magic. If it's the most not best that coin good at magic? in the world. <sighs> Take ten breaths and count deeply. All in good time, Nate. All in good time. Let's start Open with something easy. Catalog. Open that. Oh. Oh. It's not really that easy. Not that easy? Please don't pressure me. I don't like it when people get on my back. Concentrate and open it. Oh, That's boy. That's my wish. <sighs> All right, then. I did it! Oh. Did you see that? The padlock. Thief? You're supposed to open the padlock. But, but that's a magic padlock. I can't do that. Benny, then it's not now. a wish. But what if I do something wrong? Benny, how long have we known each other? About About two minutes. minutes. And in that time, you've only disappointed me once. Really? <laughs> yes, I believe in you. Let it I all like out, that. Benny. It's you against the padlock. Well, uh, well, all right then. I can explain. The lamp belongs to me. I'm happy to talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Tomu. I wish I could comply to your request. Really. Well, I guess we've become... Ah! Full circle, huh? All right, then. Achievement unlocked. Rare achievement, 8.17. You've stolen the lamp and fled. Uh, 30G. Nice. The Archmage oh, look, claims the there are hardly any opportunities for the common citizen to improve their lot. The rich stay rich, the poor stay poor. That's nonsense, of course. Have you got that? Nonsense. Yep, yeah, the rich it. stay rich and the he poor. It's for more education. For the poor as well. Still for the rich. Too complicated. My party and I have found a simpler way. From tomorrow, anyone can be a winner in life. I present yeah, that works. the lottery. And oh boy. the winners can move from the lower town to the upper town. The winner? Once a month, we grant one citizen from the lower town a better life in our midst. And you will report on it, Mr. Fox. The winner's new fabulous life and how I made it possible. The winner. It's singular. The first draw is oh. tomorrow. I expect to see it all over the paper. Very well, madam. So he is a fox. It was quite a surprise when one morning suddenly the second tower appeared. The older folk remembered that it had once always been there.
Hey, it just disappeared. It didn't really pay much library. attention to it at first because the town housed the mage school. Magic stuff happens. But when it didn't return, they just forgot about it. The Archmage no longer lives alone in the tower. He has some family learning the art of magic there too. But it's difficult teaching adults magic. Their minds are less open and they're too stuck in the physical world and they lack the imagination for magic. No, the next generation of real mages will be the young, trained by us in the school. In ten years, the mage tower will be teeming with the school's finest. Probably. I'm not so convinced that this lottery is a good idea. Sure, it's a it's probably not even fair. Winner, but wouldn't it be a coincidence if the right person won? Exactly. Exactly. Bill uses the crane to smuggle things down to the lower town to evade the duty at the gate. Can't imagine that's allowed. The delivery dock for goods delivered by airship. Bill is one of the town's biggest merchants, and with the war over, more goods land here every day. Uh. Judging by the size and the wood used, the barrel must contain a precious liquid. Brandy, I bet. Hello, Bill. Wilbur. Wilbur. How's business? Could be better. I thought business would be booming now that the war's over. It is. You think, but but it be could wrong. be better. What do you think of the lottery? Clever, ain't it? What do you mean? Well, you've got to give the rabble the feeling they could make it too, right? Make what? Becoming one of us. As long as everyone down there thinks their current situation is only a temporary condition on the way to fame and fortune, they leave us in peace. But some actually do make it. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. Anyone can make it if they just try hard enough. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your crane's ready. Oh, yes. Finally, I can lower goods straight down to my store. Saves on customs duty and paying bribes to the town guard down by the gate. Is that legal? Not paying nope. bribes? Don't know. But nowadays, an honest trader's got to look out for number one. Were you in the lower town today? What's the situation like? Those loonies are taking over. What, you mean the protesters? More gold for everyone, they demand. They should work instead, then they'll have gold. But isn't that the problem? They want to work, but there aren't any jobs. There's enough work. I've offered a couple of them work. Yes, but they'd like to be paid. You see? So it is all about gold. You give those layabouts a little finger and they take you the You need money hand. to survive Who's there, dude. Who's supposed to pay for it? The honest trader. Then you're on the council leader's side, right? I guess you're on the council leader's side in the election. You bet. All the traders are. She's one of us after all, even if only by marriage. Her husband, Old Van huh. Buren, was the richest trader in the region. Was? Been dead two years. Was the last Van Buren. His father and his uncle before him were full-blooded salesmen. Out of their parents' okay. vast and powerful trading group, they made an even vaster and more powerful trading group. Van Buren knew what to do, and the widow knows too. She knows the hardships the traders suffer, and is sure to cut taxes. 
Do you even pay taxes? No, but they're too high nonetheless. I have to be going, Bill. See you next time. See ya. Okie dokie. Right. Ugh, creepy. The prison. I always try to get past this window fast. And now I'm just staring at it. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, now you're just you talking in it instead. <laughs> My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who are you? Wilbur Weathervane? Good alias. Call oh, me boy. Mr. X. My friends call me X. X? Strange name. X gonna give Still. it to you. Better than goalpost head, I guess. Why are you locked up? They want me out of the way. I know too much. But they don't just lock people up for being intelligent. They do if you know the wrong things. We are being. Why not them be the right things? By whom? They are watching us. Who are it they? Help. The wizards? Them. The ones watching us. They're uh, out there. Uh, How long have you been in prison? A few days, but I suspect they will never let me out. I'm a political prisoner. They want to silence me. Tell everyone. The truth do. is out there. Okay, yeah. Mulder. In Seastone? Uh, yes. Probably. Do you really think you'll be in there long? They certainly won't let me go before the elections. That Van Buren wants to show her strength, and it's anybody's guess what'll happen afterwards. Either way, I'm not gonna wait until some court passes judgment on me. I'll escape as soon as I have the chance. Never has the well, chance. Uh, I have to Rot's in there. Take care of yourself, brother. You as well, then, brother. All of the expensive shops in Seastone are here in the upper town. This bakery makes the finest pies, the most delicious cakes, and the most amazing chocolates. Luckily, I don't have enough money to buy myself a treat every day. Otherwise, it wouldn't be too long before I no longer fit into my teacher's robe. To your furt. The coat of arms of the proud town of Seastone, capital of the Alliance and largest town in all Aventasia. With the refugee camp on the outskirts of town, Seastone seems larger than ever before. Yeah. The latest edition of the Seastone Lookout, the local newspaper. Council Leader Van Buren, we are equal opportunity providers. Tomorrow morning we will present our solution to the poverty problem. The only ones with simple and efficient solutions to today's problems. Oh, talk to X. Some famous knight. He's already lost both legs and his sword in battle, but his <laughs> fighting spirit is unbroken. Yeah, you say that now. The gate to the lower town is closed. That's new. 
Normally you can go down there until late at night. Isn't it late at night though? Nick at night? Anton Shieldhand, town guard. If there was ever someone I wasn't going to like, it would be him. Ouch. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Well, I never. If it isn't Little Weathervane. Weathervane to you, Mr. Shieldhand. Professor Weathervane, to be precise. Oh, your lordship, forgive me for not kneeling. I see why he likes him, or doesn't like him. I see you're still the captain of the town guard. It's captain and its only member. Why aren't there well, more no wonder guards? He is. Surely it's impossible for you to keep the peace all by yourself. The council leader of the merchants doesn't see it that way. She handpicked me for this post. Nothing is more important than loyalty, she said. I bet. How are things in the lower town? Same as here, just dirtier and everything smaller. What about the refugees? Dunno, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been down there. From up here, it looks like the tent city has stopped growing. Either there are no new refugees arriving or the place is just full. Aren't you responsible for the Ouch. lower town too? I can hardly be expected to go down there. The place is crawling with criminals. But That'd be anyway, the whole reason why to be down the there. erected barricades. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't get into the tent city. Why is the gate closed? I want to go to the lower town. Curfew. After dark, residents of the upper town can only enter the lower town with special permission. Who came up with that? Council leader Van Buren. She's worried about the well-being of the residents of the upper town. And where do I get one yeah. of these permits? Nowhere today. You can go to the town hall and apply for one there tomorrow. But, but I'm supposed to meet Remy in the inn tonight. Tough. What's the story behind that right. statue? That's the Black Knight. He serves as an inspiration for young soldiers of the town guard. He's supposed oh to, my God. to fight bravely to the last drop of blood. Who was he? Monty Python. No he was mangled when he was found, but he still had the lust for battle in his eyes. Yeah, he did. There are posters over there spreading lies about the Archmage. So? Those are lies. Anyone could read them. A couple might even believe them. Nah, eh, what can you do? You, you, you could remove them. I would do it myself, but I don't have any water or a spatula, and, and it's your job. <laughs> <sighs> All right, then. Tomorrow. Got way too much to do now. What, sleep? So, what are you doing? I'm guarding the town. I'm the town guard. I ah. suppose. It looks like Bill the Merchant's crane is finally finished. It's been two days. He's been transporting things up and down all day. And you inspected the goods? Why should I? Isn't there a toll on transporting goods like alcohol and pipeweed and other stuff from the upper town to the lower town? There are real crimes going on in this town. I don't even have the resources to take care of them. I can see why you... Bill said something about bribing the town guard. Would you know anything about that? <laughs> That's an outrageous allegation. The town guard is not bribable. That's good. Really? Otherwise, you'd probably have too much gold. I mean, if no more goods go through the gate here, then no one needs to be bribed, eh? That's right. Hmm. So you're saying Bill is cheating the state of its well-earned taxes because he's smuggling goods into the lower town? Do you want to ban him from running the crane? No. Bill and his colleagues are very influential. Anyway, no one said anything about a ban, did they? Hmm. No. I've got another idea. But how can I do it? What do you need to do to stop the smuggling? Someone would have to mark one of Bill's barrels of alcohol and then order it from the lower town. If the said marked barrel turns up there tonight without the bribe, uh, tax having been paid, 
then we have our evidence. You can be really clever, Mr. Shieldhand. The only problem right. is, I can't leave this place. I have to guard the town, you see. But you, you can fulfill your civic duty and help the town guard. Civic duty? You want me to do your job? Not for nothing, of course. What do you want in return? I, I want a pony. Aha. Uh -huh. So you want free access to the lower town? Ah, yes. no, I want a pony. Yes, you already said that. That's not how it works. You want to go to the lower town, I won't let you. But, coincidentally, there is something you can do for me. So we'll come to an agreement and you get... A pony! Oh. Fine then. I want into the lower town. Excellent. Now you help me convict Bill and I give you the key to the gate. Okay. Here's a piece of chalk. Oh, okay. Paper hacked. Hello, Bill. I have to be going, Bill. See you next time. See ya. I forgot about my cute little hat. So thank you, little hat. Mr. Shieldhand? Mr. Professor. Thank you. I've marked a barrel of Bill's brandy. Excellent. Then go down to the lower town and order a barrel and we'll see what happens. You mean I no longer need a special permit? Correct. You're now on an official mission for the town guard. Cool. There too. Huh. Neat. Bill also built the outhouse. Remy says he's rented this entire strip along the town wall. Maybe he couldn't bear the thought of leaving his stand unattended for a few minutes a day. I guess. Oh, lamp up there. Bill Storm, during the day he sells stuff from the upper town that you can't normally get down here. Oh, I see the outhouse and that's there, okay. So this is where the crane comes down. And up there's Bill sitting on his crates. Yes, you should probably tell him not to, you know. Psst, Bill! 
Who's there? And what do you want? It's me, Wilbur. <laughs> My name is Guybrush, and I want to be a pirate. My name is Guybrush, and I want to be a pirate. Uh, hello? I said... Yes, I heard you. I just can't believe you tried that old gag. Uh, I had to. Sorry. Who are you, and what do you want? It's... It's me! Mr. Shieldhand. I want to talk to you about my bribe. Or lack of, to be precise. Why do you call yourself Mr. Shieldhand? Because I am... Anton! Anton Shieldhand is my name. And I... want a bribe. <laughs> Petey, is that you? It's bloody dark down there. <clears throat> yes, it's me, Petey. Why are you putting on a funny voice all of a sudden? <laughs> you really are a crazy dog. So what can I do for my favourite errand boy? I don't I know why, like but recently I've had this funny little pony floating around inside my head. Pony? I can't help you there. Was there anything else? I need a barrel of brandy for the inn. No problem. What's the password? Password? What password? The secret password. I can't just offer illegal goods to anyone, especially as I don't have any. Oh, that password. All right, the password is... What about you? Do you even know the password? Uh, of course, but that's hardly the point. Should I buy my illegal goods from just anyone? All right, then. The password is marmalade. The password is marmalade. No, it's not. I just wanted to wind you up. Well, what's the real password? Is it <sighs> fluffy bunnies? Fluffy bunnies? What? No. Construct additional pylons? Are you just guessing? Um. Yes. No. What's the password? I, I, I don't know the password. Why not? Aren't you Petey? Step into the light. Yes, I am. But I forgot the password. Ha! <laughs> That's just like you. Ask in the Thank inn. God. The owner knows it. Fine. Hmm. A wooden box full of old tools. Some sort of metal clamps, a hammer, some wire. Probably Bill used to tool rules. I'll take the hammer. At the moment, more people live outside the town than inside it. Most of them are refugees. There were days when the From wagons the war, were lined up nose back to bumper, and the road was full of them as far as the eye could see. Ah. 
This is one of the entrances to the underground world of the rats. Rats represent yes. one of the town's largest population groups. But many don't think of them as real people and they don't have many rights. Remy Aww. and the Archmage have been trying to change that for a long time. But some think that the rats entered the town illegally and consider them vermin. I mean, I suppose. Usually, citizens and visitors to the inn warm up by the fireplace on cold nights. Paper, wood, everything's here, except for someone looking to warm up. So, that's weird. Someone has put a bucket of water next to the fire pit. Security isn't normally a priority in Seastone. But with all these wooden houses, I'm glad to see an exception. Right. The first and most impressive barricade I've ever seen. This looks like a hatch. Hello? Aloha. Are you talking to the enemy? No. I have a paper hat. Who are you? My name is... Shh. If you tell an agent of the government our real names, you'll endanger the entire organization. What do you want to call us? Hmm. My name is... John. No, Paul. Next to me is, um, J-Stop. Your name is Paul? But you're a woman. Gender is just one of the fictions indoctrinated by the patriarchal society. Oh. I suppose. Really? I didn't know that. What are you protesting about, then? We're protesting against... Exploitation, against discrimination, against poverty, and against the destruction of the environment. Wow. So everything. Those are all important issues. What do you plan on doing? Uh, we're already doing something. We are demanding yeah, that things figured. change. We've made a petition. And we're putting together a list of demands. We're still working on the wording. Problems with the neutrality guidelines. How far have you got? Dear brothers, stroke, sisters in arms, other forms of resistance Look. available. Fellow Not country slash. men, country women, country transsexuals, country gender nonconformists. Um, getting back to the whole making a change thing. If you want yeah. to make a difference, you can write like on a piece of paper and pass it through the hatch. Then everyone will know you support our cause. But... <laughs> but they don't know who I am that wrote the... I talked to a prisoner in the upper town. He's one of yours, isn't he? A victim of the state's power. Our first martyr. He's not dead yet. And if he got the cake, he'll be back with us soon. Cake? Shh. You put a file on the cake, didn't you? If you're you? for justice and change, you'll probably be voting for Archmage Alistair, right? The election's a joke. One corrupt politician replacing another, and behind the scenes it's always the same people pulling the strings. That may be true of the council leader, but the archmage... Big man has got them eating out their hands. Exactly. The magic industrial multinational that was responsible for the war. So you're entering your own candidate? That's pure daft. There's no point. We're doing the only thing that will lead to success. We're protesting. Maybe All I can right. pass on some of your demands to the Archmage and we can see what can be done. We demand that no one in Aventasia should ever be poorer than average. Isn't that mathematically impossible? Not at all. It is, but it's, it's something got everybody exactly wants. the same amount of gold, then no one is poorer than the average. Hmm. But if everyone gets the same amount of gold without having to do anything for it... Why would anyone bother to earn the gold in the first place? 
Only someone who belongs to the rich elite could ask something like that. Or someone with logic. Aye, like that's right. Do you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. But it kind of blocks the whole street, doesn't it? You're gonna dry you lot out till you give us what we want. But the upper town is supplied by airships. We won't move an inch until you stand starving and freezing before us. But we've got what if you food. do it first? And if my rabbit sheep didn't always take my bed, I wouldn't freeze either. I told you it doesn't work like that. We are protesting here, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, there's nothing you can do about Everything it. all right in the lower town? Couldn't be better. The fire of protest is stoking up hell. People are being drawn closer together by a common noble goal. And because of a lack of space. Wished. Why did you set up the barricade here and not at the gate? That would have given you loads of extra space. And the inn would have been on our side too. Our barricade is more visible this way. The elite should quake at the sight of our resolve. I don't, I don't think, think they do. You're clearly trying to drive a wedge between us, Agent. See? The fat cats are trying to sabotage us. They are afraid. That's a good sign. Have to be going. May the protest never end. Right. <sighs> Ah, two-body troll or two-headed troll. I'm not sure which, but... Someone forgot their jacket or left it hanging there while they take a nap upstairs. That would be risky. The crime rate in this town is at an all-time high. Not when no one can get here. Remy looks tired. I think the election campaign and the current situation in the town are really taking their toll on him. Probably. Hello, Remy. If it isn't the magic school's new star professor, how was your first day, Wilbur? You don't look all that happy yourself. Tough day. Tough week. I'm worried about the Archmage's safety. The situation in the town is explosive. He was heckled on the street while checking up on a field hospital down there. But it was just some wound up idiots. I'm worried about the one assailant who has enough brains, resources, and volition. Someone? Like Headmaster Block? The Headmaster? What makes you say that? Everything. Headmaster Block is very mean to me. He gives me loads of difficult tasks. All of which you've sought, knowing you. Yes. Indeed. But then he gives me new tasks that are even more difficult. And even if I worked through the night, I still couldn't finish them all. No one could. Interesting and curious. If he wanted to represent you as the Archmage's bad choice, that he wouldn't have given you exercises that are clearly impossible. People would realize what kind of game was being played, and the trick would backfire. Did you notice I anything guess. else? Yes. I surprised Headmaster Block in the staff room as he was rummaging through a desk drawer. But he was startled when I spoke to him, like I caught him doing something. He didn't want you to see him feeling Maybe around he was trying to just get a door. moment to himself, you know, even mages need a second. At first there was the unsolvable exercises, and now the desk drawer. Something's not right. That's what I think too. The council leader was standing up by the new lottery drum, dictating tomorrow's edition of the lookout to a reporter. Yes, she has the lookout under her thumb. She's a horrible piece of work. Ambitious, stubborn, and unscrupulous. 
A dangerous combination. Comes from a humble background, but got her feet on the old Van Buren's table. Tried to persuade him to do all sorts of new business deals and start a career in politics. Many say he died so young because he finally wanted to be left in peace. How did she end up as the Archmage's wow. most promising challenger? The Archmage doesn't want the most important posts in government to go automatically to the richest citizens anymore, but rather to the most competent people, chosen by the people. And of course the nobility and the merchants don't like that one bit. They were seething when nope. they found out about it, but there was nothing they could do to start with. The Archmage was too popular, untouchable. But then along came Sybil Van Buren, and she had a plan. The election was to be approved and set for one year's time. One year in which she put up obstacles in the Archmage's way and sabotaged his politics in any way she could. Her only aim was to make him look bad. By the gods, how oh. I'd load it if she succeeded. But we, we will win the election, right? The Archmage, I mean. Van Buren has used all her resources. They're powerful, rich friends with important posts at the Seastone Lookout. It's the only newspaper left in town. Simple slogans, simple solutions, patriotism and resentment. She tells the people what they want to hear. And yet, the Archmage will win the election. I think a politician. Every vote for Some the council them. leader and a cronish is a vote too many. But stupidity amongst the voters had not prevailed yet. Why doesn't the Archmage defend himself more aggressively against the council leader? Why doesn't he just tell everyone about her scheming? He wants as many people as possible to take part in solving our problems. He doesn't want there to be two sides at each other's throats. But I don't know if it will work. People are starting to accept the conditions. They blame everyone and everything, and they don't even try to change anything anymore. I asked the Archmage about it. You know what he said? He's comfortable what? having things stay as they are. That's why many favor it. Progress requires effort. What kind of world would it be if there was glaring injustice wrong. and everyone put up with it just because change takes too much effort? But hey, I'm just a rat. What do I know? A lot of things? So what do we do now? Keep an eye on Headmaster Block and see what happens? Show near the elections. A supporter of the council leader behaving suspiciously in the vicinity of the Archmage. No, too risky. We can't wait. So, you're going to have a look for yourself? Phew, I'd like to, but perhaps that's precisely their plan. An officially unofficial employee of the Archmage sniffing about in the office of one of his political opponents. Wouldn't be good if word got out. A first-rate scandal. Now. But what about a teacher looking for a form in the staff room? A teacher who is in the school because the headmaster has given him tasks to be done. <laughs> Normally I would try to discourage you. But... But... Archmage is visiting the school tomorrow. If his opponents are planning something, we have to expose them tonight. I'll do it. I'll have a look around and get back to you if I discover anything. All right, but be careful, Wilbur. Archmage Alistair gave me a magic slate. Hmm, that's just like him. He likes magical playthings. That's not all. The slate advised me to build a golem to help me with my work. A golem? They're very strong, so it could help me with a lot of my work. Yes, but I was thinking of something else. Think What's that? It. We agree the Archmage is the most powerful living wizard. Of course. No one could touch a hair on his head with a magical attack. But brute force, a stone to the head, a knife in the ribs. That could be a possibility. But now imagine that he had a bodyguard, a big chap, hard as stone. You mean me. Such as a, a golem, for example. Exactly. Even a troll wouldn't get past the golem. But the best thing, golems are absolutely loyal. They simply cannot help but follow their master's commands. And if I order it to defend the Archmage with its life... Then that's exactly what it'll do. And no one would get past it. That sounds fantastic. Can you manage that? Building a golem and bringing it to life? I'll sure try, at any rate. I'll get it to complete the Headmaster's stupid tasks first, and then guard the Archmage. The Headmaster and the Council Leader have come up against the wrong gnome. 
<laughs> then let's not Isn't waste any truth? time. I'll build a golem bodyguard for the Archmage and have a look around the headmaster's office. Good idea. And let me know as soon as you find anything peculiar. No heroics, Wilbur Weathervane. I'll be careful. I'll go back underground. I want to find out about the dark magic the Archmage has been sensing for days. Good luck! Oh, the pink. You and Van Furen will not succeed with your plan. You may have great and powerful friends, but the Archmage has small and cleverer ones. That's adorable. Remy left his glass. Hmm, there's a mark. It says 2CL beside it. For most people, that's just a little sip. But for a rat, that's a fair amount of booze, I guess. It would be, yes. So for you, it would maybe relax you. <sighs> Wait, look at the converted role-playing machine. Cool. Wow. A two-headed ogre. I've heard of those. I never thought I'd actually ever see one of those in real life. <laughs> or smell it. Hello. A block's <laughs> right over there. <laughs> mini -man. But Blout, that's a guest. Welcome, noble sir. How can we help you? I see we've got the brains and who has the bronze. You're a two-headed ogre, right? Well, I am an ogre. And me too. So, you two are ogres. My name is Zloth, mage, philosopher, scholar. And bag oh, of you're wind. A mage. That is Blout, my brother. He is me. Conjoined. Me mash things up. That too. Do you own the inn? I bought it. Blout is just my employee. Blout bought too. Yes, but then you lost your half at poker. Now it all belongs to me. Ooh. Blout not give you his half. Blout best laugh if he tried to take away. If you touch me, I'll have you thrown in jail. But you'd be in jail too. Are you allowed one or two votes in the election? One would None. think that as we have two voices, we should also have two votes. Unfortunately, the town council sees things differently. And who do you want to vote for? Archmage Alistair, of course. Council... Mrs. Van Buren. Little wow. woman says how it is. Blout so they're split. When things like everything are else. Complicated. Tax down. More work for all. See stone number one. But you don't buy it. I'd also prefer it if our problems were solved quicker. But Van Buren stands for things staying as they are or regressing. Neither has ever helped. I have heard that you buy your alcohol from Bill. We don't have much choice. He's the only trader who'll sell us alcohol. <gasps> Expensive! You're right there. The prices are unashamedly ah, high. They agreed on something. Seastone is a big town with lots of merchants. Why is Bill the only one selling alcohol? Since the town was virtually besieged with refugees, there's been no way for the farmers and traders from the surrounding areas to get through with their ox carts. Right. Especially now with there being a gate on the side of the inn. Just the same, there's still more than one merchant in the upper town, isn't there? Of course. Bill trades alcohol, another trades in lamp oil, the next one in mana potions. That way they avoid competition and set any price they want. I Ouch. smash them all. We are yeah. upset about it. Would you perhaps be interested in a barrel of brandy? I'm sure that Bill would deliver today. 
No, thank you. We still have stock, and we have much fewer guests since the barricade was erected. But I now it is. The, the password for Bill's crane capers? If you were one of his trustworthy customers, you'd know it. How about we try and bring down Bill and his exorbitant prices? Hmm. What are you thinking of? Bash him? Well, let's yes. just say I could put the long this arm little the gnome bash a guy who's Shield two man. sizes bigger than me. <laughs> Tin man. I don't know. The plan is absolutely Anton proof. We're all set. I just need Bill's password and bam, we have him by his muttony legs. Hmm. And it won't be traced back to us? I really don't want no. to be paying even more for our alcohol in the future. It's a secret COVID operation shrouded in secrecy. Shrouded in Says secrecy. You. Hmm. He has earned it. Oh, all right then. The password is gold won't make you happy. Really? Here, a bag of silver for the brandy. It will be worth it if it scuppers business for Bill and his band of ne'er-do-wells. Nice. Huh. Did someone forget that jacket on the chair over there? Oh, it belongs to a young guest. He, well, got into a fight with Mr. Shieldhand of the town guard and was arrested. Mr. X. Hooligan! Lock up immediately! What happened? He was quietly drinking his beer. Shield Hand came in, recognized him as one of the protesters, and wanted to search him. The young man mm. refused, said he hadn't done anything wrong, and wouldn't let anyone search him without reason. Then, bang! Trench in a lockdown! <laughs> and the jacket? It's been hanging there ever since. We're keeping it as a deposit until he's paid for his beer. Then take care, you two. One, both. So long. Bye. Bye. The jacket belongs to a protester. It has several patches and a badge pinned on the front. No one noticed. And now I have the bin. The pin, not the bin. Headmaster Block seems to be counting gold. Lots of gold. I wonder where he got it. Good question. Hello, Headmaster Block. Weathervane, haven't you got things to attend to at school? I'm sort of still on the job. I'm, uh, I'm just getting some tools from the town. Fine. I have to admit that your performance today did not disappoint me. Really? I'm glad. I didn't expect anything. Thus, I was neither surprised nor disappointed that your results do not look good when compared to those of a qualified specialist. What are you doing there, if I might ask? Surely you can't earn that much gold as a school headmaster, right? Of course not. Wrong. The gold is for the council leader's election campaign. I'm her party treasurer. Some people want ah. the council leader to win the election very badly. Of course. They see their donation as an investment in the future, and they know how to make a difference. I think that you're unfairly giving me difficult tasks just so I can fail at them, and then you have an excuse to get rid of me. Oh, I could get rid of you with very simple tasks, Weathervane. It's not your fault. Ouch. You shouldn't have been put in a position in which you are confronted with tasks that are beyond your schooling and your abilities. Have to be going. I'll be expecting you tomorrow after the opening ceremony for a staff appraisal meeting. So we can talk about your performance. Very well. Right. Gold and I are gonna show you. Master Marcus and Bill eventually had enough of this strange role-playing apparatus. 
I thought Master Marcus had outgrown his love of fantasy worlds, but now there's a live role play. I'm worried about him. Eventually, he might spend all of his time in his fantasy roleplay world of bicycles, tax returns, microwaves, and branded soft drinks, and forget the real world entirely. To our world. Hopefully, I can sleep in my own bed tonight. A bed here at the yeah, end will tax the contents of my wallet. A sheet of paper with lots of paragraphs in small type. It says license in law at the top. Rules for different drinking games, maybe. Maybe. Article 1, paragraph 1, drink with sense. If sense is not available, drink without. Hmm. And here, I mean, Article I thought six, that was obvious. Paragraph 5, the feeding Ooh. of mugwise after midnight is expressly forbidden. That makes sense. Article 14, paragraph 2, the host is not required you hear that? to serve vampires. No eating after midnight. This seems to be a long list of rules that apply to inns and their guests. How practical. This way you can check at any time to ensure that any freewheeling party still conform to local ordinances. That's one less worry. There are a whole bunch of articles here. The paper is covered in writing so small and closely packed, good enough to decipher the text sober. Article 9, paragraph 1. Dwarven ale may only be served in specially secure underground bunkers. <laughs> Luckily, they don't know about the cellar master back home in the White Ridge Mountains and our dwarven ale experiment. <laughs> yeah. Swing in Seastone, the town that never sleeps. This postcard so was clearly say. sent before the war. Even the mage school tower is in its proper place. Oh, that's cool. For the day for uh, the book of unwritten tales too we'll come back hopefully tomorrow for another one but I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and when we come back some more divinity original sin maybe if we get to a fourth stream tonight we should but you know you never 100% know but until then remember you can catch on my live streams archived on my YouTube channel somewhere in the link around twitch it is also the home of 1500 plus videos including rose plays highlights from the streams the streams themselves and other rose play shows but till then